Oh, come on, seriously? Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video with the latest software update, I am having several glitches in my car. So not the least of which is I get phone calls that the person on the other line can't hear me. It's like they're on mute and then it goes away. Uh, I also have had issues. It, it, some of these issues are just like volume in the system related. Twice now I've had where uh, music comes on and only plays at a certain volume. I, I turn it up or down and I can see the slider going up or down, but the decibel level doesn't change. And for that glitch, I found pushing both wheels, not push them and hold them to reset the screen or restart the screen, but just a quick both buttons in and out will correct it. If it's not the mute, the left button when music is playing, if you click it, it'll mute it and it'll unmute it, but I still don't have any control of the volume. But a quick press with both buttons eliminates that glitch, but it will come back eventually again. Uh, so it's it's pretty buggy. Uh, I've also had issues where it doesn't want to recognize. Uh, there's a warranty company that I that I do uh, warranties for uh, warranty service calls for, and um, I just have it listed as home warranty. Uh, it's that's not their name, but uh, I just have it listed in my uh, in my contacts as home warranty. So when I click the button and say call home warranty, it tries to navigate to my home. Kind of strange. I've tried it a bunch of different ways. If I click it and just say the word warranty and eliminate the word home, it's fine. So, but if I try to call home, it won't call home. It always tries to navigate home. Very odd. So this is one of the, the more buggy software updates that I've had. And a uh, little annoying that it seems like every software update that I get has bugs in it. Uh, and I know Tesla is really, really good at correcting those bugs, but um, those are the current bugs that I have. I will say this though, I used to get a lot of screen glitches where I'd have this this bar down the about offset, maybe 10% offset from center, about three inches wide, this bar down the center of my screen that was like weird, um, uh, weird iridescent colors and hieroglyphics as a, a screen glitch that I'd have to recycle the screen and I would get that every few days and that is now gone. So Tesla is correcting certain things but you know, other bugs and, and glitches are, uh, are arising. So a couple of things that I found there, uh, just wanted to uh, let you guys know if you're encountering the same bugs, same glitches, you're not alone. So anyway, that's it for today. Another quickie video for you. I'm going to try and get uh, videos out there that are shorter and more, more concise because I have a couple of technical videos that have more length to them uh, just by their na very nature. So um, my, uh, my more regular videos will probably be a bit shorter. And um, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell. I'm not a big one for promoting that, but uh, the... Um, there are there's more and more channels on YouTube these days and um, so I know there's a lot to choose from so clicking the notification bell will let you know when one of my videos comes up which is maybe every two or three days or so I, I come up with another video so anyway thanks for tuning in guys have yourselves a great day bye bye now